Okay, um, life throws some really unusual situations in our midst. I don't always understand everything on this planet, really. Uh, who created this earth? He gets to decide what he wants to do with this earth. But while we're living on this earth, sometimes our hearts get pulled and tugged. And some people have distorted vision and view of others. And some people have figured out the rare occurrences among people, which are really rare. I'm just going to read this little passage. Jeremiah 22, he shall be buried at the... Okay, let me do that. Let's go. Well, various things in ver Jeremiah 22. See, like, I don't know every single thing in the Bible. I really don't. I'm going to be I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not a Bible expert expert. I only look at things as I feel like they're revealing something, you know? And then I focus in on it. I do know Hebrew. Okay, it's a very basic language. It's not any up. It's not um, any more different than English, and it's easier to translate from English to Hebrew than it is to translate various other indigenous tribal languages to English and back and forth and things like that. So Hebrew is actually a very translatable language. Okay, I'm just going to read this part in 22. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. They shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, my brother, or Ah, sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, Lord, or Ah, his glory. Okay. He shall be buried with the burial of an ass, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry, and lift up thy voice in Bashan, and cry for the passage. For all thy lovers are destroyed. I spake unto thee in thy prosperity, but thou saidest, I will not hear. This hath been thy manner from thy youth, that thou obeyest not my voice. The wind shall eat up all thy pastors, and thy lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness. O inhabitant of Lebanon, thou makest thy nest in the cedars, how gracious shalt thou be when the pangs come upon thee. The pangs, the pain as a woman in travail. As I live, saith the Lord, through Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were the signet upon my right hand, yet I would pluck thee thence. I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life, and into the hand of those of them whose face thou fearest, even in the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and in the hand of the Chaldees. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bare thee into thy country, where ye were not born, and there shall ye die. But to the land whereunto thy desire to return, thither shall they not return. Okay. Is this Coniah a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, ye and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days. For no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Okay. What kind of stuff did I read there? I just read that there's a bunch of folly and junk and people think they understand how orders of this earth works. No, they don't. God knows more than they do. They look like they know but I'm telling you, you can't make the orders of nature and creation work the way you want it to work. God already knows this. So, you know, you hear of people with this or that disorder and disease and they can't bring forth children from the womb. Okay. I mean, really, you can't force things. I mean, so you could be pro-life, but then you could be pro -tri This is not, it's not a political battle. That's not a political battle. You're wrong. It's about the powers that be on who and who created this earth and how his judgment rules beyond the grave. Now, um, his mercy is stronger than his judgment, but he does have judgment. Okay. So, yes, um, there are literal signs in in different ways in people and miracles and things like that. I believe those, I believe them. Um, but we should not put our trust in 
the lovers, so to speak. Where did it say that? Okay. Okay. For all thy lovers are destroyed. Okay. I spake unto thee in thy prosperity, but thou saidest, I will not hear. So when they cancel you, when you told them that this is the way it is, then that's, then, then it's on them. Okay. So there you go. Who do you tr need to trust? Is Do you trust in? Okay. Okay. Have a good day.